six o'clock in the morning in the West German city of Munich. Now, that's ordinarily bedtime for Bartholomew Adams, international night owl. So when he decides to go shopping at that hour for oil paintings and before the shop is open, it's not because he's a connoisseur of art, but because he is also secretly the hunter. And the hunter hunts at strange hours and in odd places for the enemies of freedom. Yes, there are two Bart Adams, and one of them had better be insured. You shoot, you put a hole through this valuable painting. Lots of picture. If you shoot now, you'll ruin a valuable customer. They are drums. Now what, what are you doing here? Well, I thought I'd come in and pick up that Luchenik you promised me. That's six in the morning. I had to leave town suddenly, and I thought I'd break... <laughs> stop by and pick it up. I would have left a note, of course, and the money. Oh, yeah, may I? Oh, now, this is very irregular. If it was not that you are an American, and a respected patron of the arts, I... Uh, how much were you going to leave? thousand marks. Oh, oh, that was for the deposit, of course. A thousand marks for a Luchenic? Perhaps the last one that Mark the Luchenic will ever paint? Hmm. Well, twelve hundred marks. Smuggled in from the Iron Curtain, from Czechoslovakia, and at, at a great risk. Do you know what they are going to do to Luchenic? I don't know anything about artists. I promised to bring this back to a friend of mine in Paris. She says Luchenics are fashionable. Only in the free world are they fashionable. The woman that did this painting, Herr Adams, was a Czech patriot. Her paintings reflect the determination of her people in their fight against tyranny and oppression and slavery in their country. Someday, this will be a symbol of the resistance. Although, in the meantime, of course, it is always a masterpiece. Oh, curious. Uh, 1,500. Oh. Where is the Luchenic woman now? She's hidden somewhere in Prague. If she is alive, if she isn't, then this is the last Luchenic. 1,800. Oh, but she's smuggled uh, in uh, with a great uh, risk uh, and, uh, and much uh, expense. Uh, 2,000 and no more. Oh. Oh, why you have made this out in advance? No, you I'd... certainly don't need this. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't look very dignified for Munich's leading art dealer to be tending gallery in a dressing gown. Now, why don't you go on, slip on a coat while I just browse around? Oh, mm -hmm. you are quite right, Herr Adams. I will only be a moment. Eight Luchenics under the ninth. Ah, here we are. And now, Herr Adams, if you just let me have the painting, I will... What for? Well, I have to put this under the ultraviolet light. Why? To verify that this is a Luchenic. I had not the chance to really authenticate it. Isn't it genuine? But of course. But that's just a formality. My dear Hagron, the fact that I bought it from you is proof enough that it's genuine, isn't it? Besides, I have to catch a train. Oh, the Americans are always in a hurry. I understand there are only nine of these left in Czechoslovakia. Oh, correction, eight. I have a catalog of all the paintings that Luchenik made. There's one in the Scholar Museum in Prague. Once the other seven have just disappeared. I doubt if they will ever see them again, or the woman who painted them. Oh, there are ways of getting in and out of Czechoslovakia? For a friend of Luchenik, there's only the underground. Six feet underground. Your bill of sale. Hey, that's a nice work. Lines, I mean, huh? Wrap it up. Oh. For your friend in Paris? No, for me. It reminds me of a teacher I once had. A school teacher? Hey, 
Murdered? Maybe in America. That will be a hundred marks. I have 35 more of these. They are just as bad, I mean, just like these. A fellow named Schmidt paints them. He sells them to the soldiers, and they hung them in the barracks. Ah, I would give all 35 for just one more lieutenant. You would? Hmm. Well, it's a deal. Is that the Scola Museum? Comrade Museum Director, custodian of the people's art, eh? I'll show you the people's art, scribbled and scrawled all over this building. F for freedom. Wherever you turn in this cursed city, some miserable coward has crawled out in the night with a piece of chalk and bravely sabotaged a brick wall with the letter F. But comrade... That freedom, is it, huh? In my district, F is going to stand for fear. You will have this building cleaned by tomorrow, or I'll scrub it off with the end of your nose. Understand? Perfectly, but, uh, uh believe me... Uh... I want some information you have on... Well, what is it? What is it? It's the sort of thing one is apt to find on a surprise visit. Who smeared that piece of canvas? I'll tell you. I can tell it from here. Yes, it's a lieutenant. So, comrade museum director, the inside of your walls are as subversive as the outside. Let me explain. Please. Magda Lutchenik is a traitor to the socialist state. She is an outlaw, and so are her paintings. This daub of colored paint is a studied insult to the Soviet motherland. But it is entirely non-political. Non-political, eh? Now why don't you hang an American flag next to it? Or better still, if I ever find Lutchenik, I'll hang her next to it. I realize, Comrade Boralov, that in a certain light to display it here is a criminal thing. But I can explain. Uh, please, do. Well, you see, uh, under the new cultural improvement directive, we are ordered each week to show an increase in the number of visitors. It is difficult to meet this quota because the labor improvement plan has reduced the workers' leisure hours. Oh, oh wisely so. But nevertheless... Uh, People somehow just don't, don't seem to find the spare time for visiting art museums. You uh, induce them in with this Lutchenik, is that it? Well, of course, once they are inside, they are exposed to Nizhny and Vanov and, and all the really vital people's artists. Then they are inspired by true socialist art. Take that picture down. Do you hear me? Zinner! Uh, Comrade Boralov wants this picture removed. Comrade Boralov wants it removed. So, you seem to have been operating a shrine of freedom. Matt, but at least you met your quota of visitors. Or should I say traitors? This museum is closed until further notice. This entire wall will be removed. And so, Mr. Museum Director, will you? You are joking. Am I? Now, wait a minute. Yes, perhaps I am joking. Hang it up. 
Go ahead. Hang the picture. A uh, guard, you there. What's your name? Zinner, comrade. Zinner. The director tells me that certain elements come into this gallery to honor this painting. Well, there is usually a crowd around. I, uh, I don't know why. It's just a crazy mess of paint to me. Now, you are the attendant here. Do they discuss Luchenik or where she might be? I don't know. They mostly don't talk while I'm around. Would you recognize Luchenik if her artistic pride and her woman's vanity would induce her to raise the director's quarter? Well, I know her. She used to lecture here, but uh, that was more than six months ago. That's why I hung it. I was trying to trap Luchenik. Well, perhaps you will, after all. Now, come along. I want to use your phone. Seven of them in there. Where's the eight? Right behind you. Oh, you can put your hands down. At last, I, I'm so tired of being brave. You don't read the painting then? He sent you here from Munich? Yeah, something like that. Who are you? Doesn't matter. I'm going to try to get you out of Czechoslovakia. Getting out of the people's paradise is not so easy as getting in. There's a guard on the border. He'll get us through. It's got to be this week. He's crossing over himself. Oh, just to breathe free air again. How long have you been buried down here? How long, Paul? I've lost track. I saw her upstairs in the crowd, admiring the Luchenik. Well, that was two months ago. An artist's vanity? Or a woman's? Anyway, he, he whisked me down here, and uh, here I've been ever since. Oh, he brings me food and lets me wander through the halls at night for exercise. The air is conditioned. It's uh, not too hot. It's really quite comfortable. I, I even have my paints and canvas. Except that uh, I cannot paint. All the colors are... I've gone from here. It's, it's just uh, different shades of gray. That's what comes from living in a tomb. The rest of my country is a cage. The bars are, are different shades of red. If, if I could only escape, maybe those other colors would come back. Honey, there's a place at the end of the rainbow where even the toothpaste is green. How soon? Tomorrow night you're not safe here. Well, I thought here where everybody would recognize her would be the last place they'd look. You see that joker upstairs? Look, don't ever think of their ignorance and stupidity. You lost a country that way. Now, look, we're going to meet tomorrow at 5, upstairs, in front of her painting. I want the microphone right here. Then run the wire through this wall and into Director Losch's office. Understand? Tomorrow... These walls will have ears. Mine.
I have heard enough sedition today to automatically justify shooting every third person who comes into this building. But you made no arrests. Now don't be stupid. If you leave the lice alone, they will lead you to the mice. Then you step on the lice. And did the lice mention where Lucenic is? Nothing. A lot of idle gossip. She's in England. She's in America. She's dead. She's on the moon. Yeah. I tell you, she is in Prague, and she is alive. I know this. Closing time. Closing time. Closing time, comrade. Is everything ready? Yes. Good. What time do we start? There's a truck around the corner. Take us as far as Pilsen. From there we go to the frontier on foot. Uh, they're whispering. There's some getaway clothes from Magda and some papers. From now on, we're farm workers on our way to a new collective. Got any old clothes? In this country, everybody's clothes are old. I can't hear what he says, but that Zinner's voice. The guard in Gallery 6. But the one who knew, Luchanek. Uh-huh. I'll keep out of sight. Better give Magda a signal. Remember, 6.45. I'll meet you in front of the vault. Right, 6.45. I heard Zinner say 6.45. Something is going to happen in 40 minutes. Wait. Wait. Sounds like a signal. Is a signal. What is directly underneath gallery six in the basement? One of the vaults, vault number three. Why? Where would you least expect to find Magda Lucenic? I'll tell you. Right under your idiotic nose. But comrade, I hope that my record as director of the Scholar Museum will not be headquartered by STB. Official. My friend, I think we will level off your museum and have it replaced perhaps by a new one only you won't be around to see it no somebody must quarry the stones to build it with Drunka, we're off i want a detail at the scholar museum
Sérgio Paulo. Se caiu, as teus tendem. Eu morri. My country will start to live. locked us in so that we could escape. He wouldn't let us help him. He did it so you could finish your work. This was his. It's empty. My work could wait. It is his work that must be finished. Funny thing. You know, I think I can find a place where we can get this loaded. Who is it? Who's there? 